Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Windows 11 Home or Windows 11 Professional and what the difference is. So if you're trying to make a decision and you're not really sure what means what, this is the video for you. Now, if you are interested in picking up your own copy of Windows 11, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links down in the description box below and grab it at a great price. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So I currently have Windows 11 Pro installed here on this computer. And the first difference that we'd like to cover is the hardware limitations. Now, there's not really a massive difference between the two. Generally speaking, you probably won't need Pro to allow you to incorporate more memory or CPUs or anything like that, but we'll go ahead and talk about the limits anyways. So Windows 11 Home has an upper limit of one CPU with 64 cores, as well as a maximum RAM of 128 gigabytes. So if you know anything about computers, that probably sounds like overkill, and for most people it is, but that's the limit on Home, and Windows 11 Pro is essentially double that. So on Windows 11 Pro, we'll have two CPUs, 128 cores, and this one actually supports up to two terabytes of RAM. So why would you ever need so much RAM? Well, if you're doing a lot of virtualization, for example, you can allocate certain amounts of memory into your virtual machines. And that's one scenario where you might need an excess of RAM. But generally speaking, both Windows 11 Pro and Home have a large enough upper limit to support even more spec'd out PCs. Now we're gonna move on to some features that are included with Windows 11 Pro that you won't find with 11 Home. Uh, the first one is called the Sandbox. Now the Sandbox is gonna let you run a separated or isolated version of your operating system. So this is a handy tool if you're downloading content or applications or anything that you might suspect to be malicious. You can run it on this Sandbox, which is again, totally isolated and that's not gonna cause any issues on your main machine. If you do encounter a problem, you simply close it, restart it, and you'll be on a clean slate. So the sandbox is a cool feature. And similar to that, Windows 11 Pro includes something called Hyper-V. Now Hyper-V is a simple application, but it's a manager for virtual machines. So it's gonna let you run virtual machines on various operating systems. Again, this is totally separate from your main computer. You can run developer environments, you can run old versions of Windows. You have a lot of freedom there to kind of explore and do what you want. Now, another nice feature of Windows 11 Pro is remote desktop connection. All this means is that it's gonna allow other computers to connect to you. So you being the host, you can have clients connect to you. Whereas if you're on 11 Home, you can only be the client. So you can connect to other computers, but they can't connect to your computer. Now those are really the main differences included with 11 Pro. You have other things such as Windows information protection and enterprise management features, but we're not gonna get into that as that's a little bit more advanced than what we're talking about here. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. And if you found the video helpful, be sure to drop us a like, comment, and share. Again, if you'd like to pick up your own copy of Windows 11 or Windows 10 at a great price, Check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.